In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a mist effect, or a fog, using the mist pass in Blender, and we'll also discuss how to create a depth of field, through composition. So here is our nice little village model, we have downloaded it from CG Trader, and the camera view looks like this. Now we'll add a mist effect in this scene, so we need to first go to this view layer tab. Then under the passes, we have to enable this mist pass, to generate a mist data. Now if we render the scene, we'll get this simple output, without any kind of mist effect, but the mist data is anyway generated, we need to combine it using the compositor. Let's first enable this use nodes, so Blender will add these two nodes, one render layer, and a composite output. Now we'll go to the add menu, and add a viewer node to our node setup, and then we need to also enable this backdrop option. So we have the primary output in this render layer, and it has got an image, an alpha, and a mist output which we can use. So again go to the add menu, and from the color group, under mix, let's add a mix color node, and place it right here. Then we have to connect this mist output, to this FAC input. And now if we connect this output to our viewer node, we'll get the result visible in the backdrop, that will also go to our final output. So we get some amount of mist, but the mist is quite faint, so in order to increase the density of this mist effect, let's again go to the add menu, and add a color ramp node. We need to place it in between the mist output and the mix color node. We can control the density of the mist by changing these handles, so if we move this white handle this way, we'll get more amount of mist in our scene. And we can even change the mist color, by changing this color value, let's say we add a light blue tint to our mist. So this is how it will look like after we render it, let's render this frame and verify the output. So we get a nice mist effect, with an appropriate density, but we can see that the objects are very sharp even in the mist. It will look better if we can slightly blur them, based on their distance from the camera. So let's again go to the add menu, and from the filter group, let's add a node called, Bokeh Blur. We can slightly move these nodes, and rearrange them, in order to create some space for the blur node, and move the blur node here. Now connect this image output, to its image input, and then connect the output of the color ramp to its size input. We need to also enable this variable size checkbox, and finally, the output of this node will go to the first image input of the mix color node. The variable blur will mainly blur the objects that are far away from the camera. And you can always customize these settings based on your requirements, like you can move this white handle even further, for an even more dense fog or mist. And if you want to clear out the mist from the area nearby the camera, you can move this black handle. We need to give it a very low value like 0.01, it will keep the mist or the fog only for the distant objects, and remove it from the objects that are relatively closer to the camera. Now if we render the scene, we'll get an output like this, it looks good even in EV, you don't need cycles. There is another way to create a fog effect using volumetric shading, it was discussed in another tutorial, the tutorial link is given below. So I hope you find it useful, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.